Hello everyone, my name is Martin Medeiros and I'll be your instructor for Econ 2 this term. I just want to take this time to kind of let you know how things are going to be working on a week-to-week -week basis so you know exactly what to expect. And there's no better place than to start with the syllabus. Um, so I'm just going to scroll down to the course schedule. And uh, I have everything listed week by week. Uh, the chapters that we'll be covering and the due dates for the assignments. Now, the one thing that all of these due dates have in common, with the exception of the final week, is they're all on Sunday. So we have something due every week, with the exception of the holidays. We have something due every week, and the due date is going to be on Sunday. And so, for example, if you look at uh, week two, we cover chapter one. And we'll have several assignments where they're going to be quizzes and video questions covering chapter one. And those assignments will be due on uh, Sunday, Jan January 28th. Um, and if you go to the class site, if I go to week two, you can see I give you, I tell you, I give you an overview of the of the learning objectives for this week, the reading assignment, which is going to be chapter one, and here I have my PowerPoint slides um, for that chapter and a recorded lecture. So I have a video about that, and the that video uses the slides you see right here, so you could download them on your own. After you've done that. We have activities to complete, and all of these activities to complete are going to be due on Sunday. And you can see everything is due on January 28th. So we have two video questions. Now, a video question is exactly as the name implies. Uh, you click on it, and you say take the quiz, and you have you. There's one video to watch, and you simply answer a question on that video. Um, the quiz is 10 questions based upon your reading. Um, and these quizzes, as well as the video questions, are not timed. So you could start and stop them. As long as you don't submit, you could uh, answer questions and then just come back to it later. Uh, they're just due on the 28th. So basically, video questions and quizzes, weekly quizzes, are not designed to be difficult. They're a study aid because, collectively speaking, all of the video questions are going to be worth 10% of your grade. All of the quizzes are going to be worth 10% of your grade. So an individual quiz or an individual video question are not worth that much. What they're used for is to help prepare for the exam. So if I go back to the syllabus, you could see we're going to have four exams, and I have the exam schedule separate here. So you can see exam one is going to take place in week six, so right here, week six, and it's going to cover these chapters. And the way the exams work is it's going to open on a Saturday, that's going to be February 24th, and it's going to close on a Sunday and these assignments are timed so the, the the video questions and the weekly quizzes are not timed but the exams are timed so once you start it you've got to complete it so exams one two and three you're going to be given uh, two hours to complete those they're going to be about 20 questions multiple choice similar to the uh, weekly quizzes but once you start it you've got to complete it within two hours uh, the final exam, same approach, but I'm going to give you three hours instead of two hours. And uh, these dates are not Saturday and Sunday. Uh, that's the reason why is because these will take place during finals week. Uh, so just be aware of that. So let's go back to exam one. Exam one is going to be, take place in week six. It's going to cover chapters one, three, and four. So the video questions and the quizzes and the readings for chapters 1, 3, and 4, you could use that as study material for the exam. Um, and 
that's the way that basically that's the entire class in terms of the assignments we do have an extra credit assignment and that's going to be the last weekly quiz so when you go to week 17 uh, the weekly quiz for week 17 that will cover chapter 15 that's going to be for extra credit and that's going to be worth uh, 3.5 percent of your overall grade so if you miss a weekly quiz or a couple of video questions you can make that up with extra credit and that's how we're going to be working uh, due dates um, if you miss an assignment I, I'm not going to reopen the assignment for you. You could just make it up with extra credit. That way things are um, the same for everybody. I won't be making special adjustments for a student when it comes to due dates, which would be kind of unfair to other students. Uh, but you could still make up those points, and the, the, that those points through extra credit will be available to everybody, so that makes it very fair. Um, now, if you have a family or medical emergency and you let me know before the due date, uh, a 24 or 48-hour extension can be arranged, but the requirement is you have to let me know before the due date. Okay. Um, I will have weekly office hours. Uh, here's the Zoom link to here. Um, if you go to the class site and you go to contact information I have the zoom link there for the uh, weekly office hours it's going to be a Monday from 7 to 8 and I can answer any of you qu your questions that you like um, and that's about it um, if you've got any questions you just let me know uh, through email if you again if you go to contact information and it's on the syllabus too. my my um, um, I don't heck, I don't have my oh here we go here's my email address right here emmadaros at shibocollege.edu uh, just send me an email I promise to get back to you within 24 hours uh, so the more contact you have with me the better and um, that's where we'll leave it okay everybody I look forward to interacting with you this term